Hey guys, what's happening? Press Start TV E3 2016. We're here with Richard Igo, head of marketing of Telltale Games. Richard, we just sat through your presentation of Batman. Um, this, by the way, let me just start off by saying this looks amazing. Congratulations, you guys should be very proud. It looks really, really good. What inspired you guys to head in the Batman direction, first of all? Uh, but, I mean, we're really lucky at Telltale. Like, everything that we work on, we're fans of, first of all. Uh, and Batman's something that we've wanted to work on for a long, long time. You know, it just offers us so many opportunities on every level. Um, and, you know, we, we really wanted to do something different. So, in our game, we're focusing on Bruce Wayne as much as Batman. Yeah, I mean, that's one of the first things that I noticed. You guys uh, kind of delve into the gameplay of you actually going through Wayne Manor and using Bruce Wayne. That's really something that nobody's really touched on before, right? I don't think so, at least not in the interactive space, not like we have. Um, you know, your choices as Bruce and your choices as Batman kind of each affect, like, each half of your character. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's, it's just going to provide a brand new experience for people in this space, I think. Yeah, and, and so let's talk about the gameplay. The, the gameplay um, in this is more of a reactive style gameplay, or uh, is that how you would describe that? In terms of the combat and action sequences? Yeah, I mean, you know, people know Telltale's combat sequences for as being quick time. We've added new layers to that with Batman. Um, I don't think you, when you've got Batman as a character in a game, you can really shy away from action. It makes no sense at all. Um, but, uh, yeah, we've got brand new dynamics within our combat sequences where you can actually build up these combos and build, you know, create these kind of finishing moves, which are great visually and make you feel really, really cool as Batman. Yeah. Which is good. James, you sat through. What do you think? Uh, I loved it. Um, also, I, I love that, you know, obviously, like you said, not doing Batman with combat would be ridiculous, right. but uh, not a lot of people focus on the diplomacy that is being Bruce Wayne and having the eyes of the city constantly upon you. Yeah. Um, and I really appreciate that you did that. Also, I wanted to ask, uh, obviously your art direction is very uh, telltale, but uh, the story, Batman has many different iterations. Did you draw from any specific previous you know, story? Or just try to craft your own? Well, you know, I mean, we're fortunate in that we've got 75 plus years of material to draw from. Sure. Um, but we wanted to From start, Bob Kane, yeah. Frank Miller, and... Exactly. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's so much material there. And we could, if we wanted to, just kind of go down the pathway of retelling a story that exists. But we didn't want to do that. We wanted to tell the telltale version yeah. of Batman. So it's a brand new story from the ground up. You'll see stuff in there as far as characters and some story beats that you think you're familiar with as a, a Bat fan, as a, bat, you know, a, as a fan of those yeah. characters and that world. As we are. But we've got big plans to really, really change those things around so that you'll be very surprised at the content. Um, and uh, as far as uh, the gambits, we'll be seeing a lot of uh, Batman's villains returning. Uh, well, we're not really saying who else is going to be in there other than you've seen in the demo today. You actually caught a glimpse of one of them in there, although you may not have realized it. Um, you know, Ooh. yeah, so try and think back. You may have seen someone yeah. in there. Now I am. I'm going yeah, yeah. to be up all night tonight. <laughs> Thanks for that. But yeah, so th there's the great thing about this game, though, is that, um, you know, there's always that question, is Batman responsible for the villains within Gotham City? And let's put it this way, that's a question that we ask in this game. It's a, it's a question uh, Joker frequently asks them. <laughs> right, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, and, and it, based off your decisions, you kind of have to answer those questions because as the game kind of plays out how you decide to reply or respond to some of these things, and I guess the story takes a different direction, which makes me think there's multiple endings to this, correct? You know, you can, I mean, the, the, the great thing about it is you've got two versions of a character to play as. I mean... Even when you're not in the suit, you're always Batman, right, to start off with. But when you're playing as Bruce and when you're playing as Batman, the way that you interact with characters, obviously physically, but also in terms of how you interact with them through conversation, really, really can allow you to be the Batman or the Bruce Wayne that you want to be. You know, in terms of Bruce Wayne, for example, you can be kind of the, the flippant billionaire playboy, you know, get all that stuff out there on the surface. Or, as you saw in the demo that I played today, you can be kind of a lot more reserved and brooding. It's, it's up to you. That's excellent. So you can be your own Bruce Wayne. Um, and you said, you mentioned this was a five episode part five so far? Series, and yeah. then we just saw some of the first? Yeah, there's, yeah. you saw basically the first 30 minutes of uh, episode one. It kind of has this cold opening. And then once we get past the content that you guys saw today, that's where we kind of have the intro sequence and then go into the rest of the game. Excellent. And what platforms are you developing for? Everything. Everything. Yeah. Uh, when can we expect to get our hands on episode one? Actually, it's very, very soon. We haven't announced the date yet, but you can certainly expect to play episode one this summer, and our target is to get all five episodes out before the end of the year. 
Excellent, Richard. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. All you Batman fans out there, you're going to love this. Be your own Bat, be your own Bruce. We'll see you. It'll all go down very soon. Keep it here on Press Start TV. One more, one more question. Oh, one more, one more thing. Uh, not really a question. I just want to say I am Batman, and stay tuned to the same Bat channel. <laughs>